Damn it, that's gross. So, okay. It's, like we said, man, styles aren't for everybody, dude. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna piss this out later. <laughs> I'm gonna smell this. Yeah, no, you probably would. It's like the smell to what you're tasting is different. And I yeah. know nothing, <laughs> nothing here is going to taste like this. I'm gonna smell that. What's up, everybody? I'm Mark from What The Pint, and you're watching Cold Ones. It's a show with good conversations and cold craft beer. Joining me today is a world-renowned tattoo artist and Tucson, Arizona native, Anthony Michaels. You might have seen him on season seven of Ink Master, where he took home the Ink Master crown, known for his realistic and highly detailed portrait tattoos and his expertise in black and gray tattooing. Anthony Michaels, welcome to the show, bro. Man, thank you for having me, brother. Yeah, for sure. yeah it feels, I, I really feel lucky to be here. Cheers, bro. Cheers. What are you thinking? I mean, that's smooth. It's this one over here. Mm -hmm. Dragon pills. It's refreshing. People call this this style like a game time, like a game time beer, right? Like watching mm. football, maybe grilling, barbecuing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very light, light and crisp. But there's 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 beers lighter. Yes. There is. So this to me, has, to me, this doesn't this doesn't feel that light. Right. A lot more flavor. It's a lot more, and it's it's, yeah, it's a little heavier, yeah, but there's yeah. definitely more flavor in it. There's definitely yeah. There's definitely flavor in here. For sure. Man, it it, ta it tastes clean. I mean, I know you started drawing at a young age, right? Mm. Drawing it's kind of a form of expression in a sense. But when did you like realize that you had a serious talent to create? Damn, I you know I that's a good question. I don't. I've never, I've never looked at it like that. I just, I guess I just always felt like I, I had to do something with it. Okay. I think, I think just hearing, hearing, hearing friends like throughout school, like I really started probably giving it, like paying attention to it. Seventh grade, I kind of like, is when it really popped off for me. And I didn't really talk about it much because I got like, I got made fun of like crazy. Okay. So fucking, I'm, what? We're talking, we're talking about when, like seventh grade, I mean, Back then, it wasn't even tattooing wasn't common what it is now. People like frown upon it. Fuck, hundred percent, absolutely. But at the same time, it, it was it was huge. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, we're talking the nineties, like. Right. But it was absolutely a very specific demographic that was associated with that culture. Right. <clears throat> and then to be a minority, like talking about it, man, at that age, like. Like I'm expected to head down the wrong path, <clears throat> but in here, like I knew, I knew what was what was for me. Um, and long story short, saw a teacher tattoo peeking out from under a shirt. <clears throat> he told me about his experience, how he brought his idea to this to this artist, and he created that. And it's just like, dude, I could I <laughs> I could create anything somebody wants, and I can draw it on them. Right. That's a very personal and, and, thing. And, they, yeah. and, and like they can have that forever. Right. Nothing can ever happen to them. Cheers. Man. Cheers. Man. Damn it, that's gross. Oh. But I will, I will drink that. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know what that says about me. I kind of don't care. But that's my that. So what is it that's that's uh, not doing it for you, dude? I don't know. Yeah, no, it is what it is. Maybe something wrong with my fucking <laughs> mouth. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna piss this out later. <laughs> I'm gonna smell this. Yeah, no, you probably would. It's like the smell to what you're tasting is different. And I yeah. know nothing, <laughs> nothing here is going to taste like this. I'm gonna smell that. Um, let's fast forward, man. Let's fast forward to when you first picked up that tattoo gun. And what was that experience like for you? Bro, I remember calling it a tattoo gun, and technically they're machines. Okay. But I mean, you know, that's what they were dubbed. You gotcha. Know, back when tattooing started, and yeah, man, 26. So <clears throat> I'm working this job, and my ma my manager, like, he caught me just 
he he knows I was hating life at the time. You know what I mean? I was just daydreaming, just not paying attention. He was like, dude, you have more talent on one finger than this entire building. It was just like, blah, 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 blah. we were going back and forth about it. So I went home and put together this tattoo machine. Remember, tattoo machine, not gun. Let's, let's switch that up. They, gotcha. they do. Sorry, I'm going to apologize in advance, it, or after the fact, I should say. You didn't know. Most, <laughs> most of us don't know. But tattoo machines do not shoot bullets. <laughs> I know it may feel like it, but it doesn't shoot bullets. Um, put it together, and I tattooed my name on a grapefruit. Bro, that shit came out so clean. Like, and I, mind you, I ran a couple lines like on a banana peel. And yeah. I was just like, this, this is, this is fucking stupid. This is actually, fuck, try six. Like, I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna start doing. This, this is fucking stupid. And, th and then it clicks, right? Seventh grade. The, right. The why, the this, the that. And it's just For like, sure. okay, dope. Went in the next day, bro. Put my two weeks in. Oh, damn. You I took it with you to work. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, took, I, yeah I took it with me, man. Fucking showing everyone, man. Okay, I, got I got you. you. I got you. Don't, I mean, the tattoo. Advertising. Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, man, 26. And then, uh, yeah, man, I started in the backyard. Uh, my, my son's mom at the time. Um, built a little, she, there, was, she, there was an old shed when she got the house. Um, it wasn't being used for nothing, so we gutted it. Hardwood floors, AC okay. units, yeah. Nice. Firewall. A little shop, a little studio. Yeah. yeah That's awesome. <laughs> Don't let the name alarm you. Victory or death. Moto Sonora. Yes. Moto Sonora. They're out here from Tucson, Arizona. Yeah? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Tuck down. Victory or death. That smells good. I like that. Okay. There it is. So it's a little bit better than the, the last one. We got to cook kind of come back from it i bro i we're talking about the last one <laughs> those are all right those fine are, words we almost threw hands over there that motherfucker's still in the category of his own <laughs> he started a different he's in a different lineup you know how they make teams and shit uh, yeah yeah uh, mr black cat supporter <laughs> step back from <laughs> Everyone's an, an artist in some way, right? I feel like everybody has this passion that might drive them and art comes in many different forms. But during your path, what really made you say, hey, look, I'm gonna take this art and make it into a lifestyle, make it into your career. What about this journey, this tattooing that you felt like really just pulled you and like said, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this? Early 20s, so it, well well before, like I was, I was tattooing. Nice. I, I like I knew I was just like, okay, this is this is it. Cause there was definite there was definitely something going on in my life at the time that I was just like, fuck it. My mom's gonna fucking hate this. She's gonna be so fucking pissed. But I'm I, bro, I'm like I'm just gonna be scared forever. Right. And so in the meantime came the odd jobs, right, the pro basketball, you know what I mean? All that stuff. Were you tattooing while you were playing ball? Yeah. You were doing that at the same time all day? Yeah. So you were there in the locker room, just kind of like, hey, I got you, or? Bro, um, so the last, I was playing for the um, the Volcanes of uh, Toluca, okay. Mexico. Yeah. When, uh, yeah, when we were done with practice or workouts for the day, we I'd set up and- <laughs> yeah, There it is. <laughs> and get the reps in. Um, and oddly enough, like my, uh, a very, very close uh, friend of mine, Larry, that I played with, who kind of brought me into the professional circuit, um, would kind of like be the mouthpiece for me. Okay. Right? So we're playing these other teams where we have boys and we make connections and even if we don't know them, they're asking about our work. Gotcha. So walking billboards, man. So it's yeah. just like, man, we have Yo, and got an extended say in another city. And you know what I mean? Right. So it, it just, it, yeah, man, it was, it was an experience. All right, so next up is the from Harbottle Brewing Company, the American Gherkin. 
Dill pickle sour. Oh. Yeah, so. Interesting. It's definitely pickle in there. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, never judge a book. I can't. Do you like pickles? Let's just ask that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yes. Have you ever had like a pickleback with like when you're chasing something or not really so much? What's a, a pickleback? People will do like, they'll do a shot of something and then they'll chase like a pickle juice and then the- Nah. I mean, I've had pickle juice like catching cramps. Like they're oh, okay. games, yeah. you know what I mean? They're crazy positions. Just run to the kitchen, hobble to the kitchen real quick, get pickle <laughs> juice. Bro, what the fuck? Yup, there it is. Just dive right in. Just rip the bandit off. <laughs> That's wild. So uh, don't don't hold, don't I'll go for it. Go don't for it. don't ask me a question yet. Because I'm like I'm part of me is just like what like. And and this is, <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm being I'm being uh, like I'm exaggerating. No, take your time. Yeah, like who's walking around in the kitchen making this? Oh fucking Mike. Like, Mike from Harbottle. Mike, <laughs> what are you? Right what are you? What are you doing? It's Mike, so do I. <laughs> Mike, hold on. You know what? So when I first tried this, I thought it was going to be a lot more like cheek puckering, a lot more sour than what it is. It does give that impression. Did you? When, so when you first had it, did you did you smell? So I did. Yeah, yeah. I smell. I, I try to smell everything, just kind of get it, because the aromas are going to tell you a lot, right? Yeah. And, and I did. You, and then you right. And then you process that you were about to drink urine. <laughs> it is sense. Well, not not possibly. urine, but possibly, right? But I mean, because like, I'm not a sour guy either. I I do not I like can. sour stuff like this. And maybe that's what it is. So, but as far as like, this is the first and only pickle sour I've tried. So I can't compare it to nothing. But. Um, I've also heard that maybe even making it into like a, a michelada would be pretty good. Dang. Yeah. So that's what, that's exactly, that's exactly, that's exactly it. Because it's just like, bro, you just said you fucking drink pickle juice. So uh, you go over to <laughs> right. shit. Crap, no, absolutely not. I'm not because I love pickles. So like I, I would, I would just, I would, I would absolutely have to be in a mood right. or a craving. Going from the idea of wanting to do this for a career, mm -hmm. getting it done, and becoming successful, like, what was the hardest part of that journey? Like, Fucking tattooing. Just in, in just general. Period. Yeah, okay. That was the hardest part. Even if I hadn't heard what I heard about, you know, being a minority, getting into the industry, even had I not heard that, I understood I, I understood what tattooing was about and where it came from. And so that was just like something that I just, I, tr I tried to act like I was fucking brave enough to lean on, mm -hmm. but I was, I was actually terrified about it, right? Um, I was brave because I continued to move forward, but like that, that had to have been the hardest part is just showing up as, as a minority tattoo artist. For sure. You know? um, because the majority also doesn't know that tattooing did not start in the states you know what i mean yeah, i started, didn't know that yeah it started tattooing started in in south in the south the southern americas and, and eastern americas right so that's just there's something that's not talked about right you know what i mean so my my purpose in tattooing is connected to that gotcha and i have the ability to to also draw you know so I'm, I'm here to do something with it and I'm, I'm also here to to make it my own as well you know but it, right. it definitely serves a purpose so that was the hardest thing is just like <clears throat> i guess finding finding a place right because now that it came here to you know the sailors and 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 the biker gangs here in the like that's what that's what <clears throat> ran the lands you right. know what i mean no i get yeah um, I and so that's that's how the how the stories were told but um yeah man that was that was the hardest thing because i don't i don't see it 
I don't see it for the divide aspect, right. you know? Um, and there's, we're a dime a dozen now, um, but it's not, it's not everybody's purpose. Right. You know for what I mean? Sure. So. I mean, there's a lot of stress in it too. You know, bro, you, 100%, I, you're I could phys- just imagine. You're physically altering somebody's appearance for the rest of their life. This is nothing yeah. short of surgery. And that's fine, man. That's fine that we practice on people. That's fine that we get small, like it doesn't, like that doesn't matter. But like the intention going in, yeah. the intention going in has to be, it, it, ha- it has to be, it has to be pure, you know, right. just because shit is cyclical. Shit is cyclical. So the acceptance, right. But then also coming from right from. So that's where I think that that's, yeah, that was probably the most challenging part. And this one is this one here. What's it called? Uh, Spellbinder. Spellbinder. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think the questions might get a little harder. All right. Maybe. And maybe then, my yeah. And then what's cool about like, you know, the crap real world is that you look at this can art and it's, it's all different. Yeah. And, you know, they yeah. put a lot into the can art and stuff. There's times where I'll jump into a shop and I'll say, I'm going to pick this one because I like the can art. Whether yeah. it's good or not, it just depends. Right. But see. That's, see, that's why that's why I worry about presentation so much because it's it's these are two of the same company, like yeah. completely different presentations, and now I'm about to have completely different experiences. So yeah, that's a that's a very that's a very good point. Yeah. Wow! Right. It's just everything's in that. It's hate juicy. It's tropical. It's let us wow. different flavors in that thing. And it's and it 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 feels light. Yeah. So I'm comparing it maybe to the mo- the moto and the um, the the first pills. One. Yeah. And this one I mean, it's I lighter than the pills. Yeah. This one it's uh, higher in alcohol, but uh, it does the, the mouth feel. It does feel it does feel a little yeah. lighter. But uh, this one's sitting at six point nine percent. Man, ABV. it might, it might, if we, if we can get more fizz in this. Right. This would work well. It is very eclectic. I, fuck, I think I like that beer. <laughs> <There it's, is. laughs> dude, it's just, it's just different. It's just, and yeah. I, and I like, I like to fuck, just, I like, I just like to be different. No, and, that, and that's what makes everybody stand out, right? Yeah, like, I'm learning to be like, like myself being different. Yeah. yeah. Were you at a place where you were actually looking to get into some type of competition space? Or was it just something that crossed your path and you were like, fuck it, let's try it out and see what happens? Ink Master. Um, it crossed my space. Okay. And it was interesting because I was talking shit about it. Like, gotcha. dude. It's a rose. You can't make a rose look like a rose. Like, what is wrong with you? And then they reached out and they were like, what's up? You want to do this? I was like, oh, shit. Okay. What? This isn't real. And so they called back. It's like, hey, this is real. And I was like, oh, um, yeah, I'll do it. Nice. And um, my my reasoning was I, I felt... I felt that my my resources had had given me had given me what I needed at that time. Okay. Um, and I'm definitely like, like even even Mike challenged me to like be honest, right? So right. Even at that time, like it was it was it was hard to be honest. But I I knew my I knew where I wanted to go. My work ethic was I knew it was just, it, was just, it was just a means to an end, right? but also my loyalty kept me there. So I did the show to, to get better. Gotcha. And I remember, uh, I believe it was Megan Jean, and I, I think they aired this um, during season seven, but she kind of, she made fun of me for my reasoning being there with like getting better. You know what I mean? And she, That was, that was my reason. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Because oh, it's, it's not <laughs> like, a typical answer if you think about it. Well, yeah, when it comes to reality shows, you know, people are like usually like boasting, "Oh, I'm because I'm the best in everywhere." Blah blah blah. And and that's those are the type of, type of answers they wanted, okay. right? But it's just like okay, but you guys also all the paperwork has been signed, and you you want me, right? And I express that this is this is how I was. This is me. Yeah. So I'm gonna give you this answer, and I'll give you your other answers, but I'm I'm gonna word it. You know what I mean? How makes it you? How I see it exactly. Right. You know, and motherfucker, I wasn't there to get famous, so no, I don't <laughs> give a fuck about winning. No, I'm not think. No, like I actually, I, I know in order for me to get better, like I, I have to fucking take some L's. Yeah. Or I have to, I have to, go, I have to at least go face it. Right. And what better way to do it than to be on the world stage, and other people's opinion about what you're creating from here. Right. That 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 was the hardest thing about Ink Master for me. Gotcha. And others are like, oh, no, it is fucking TV. It's fun. It's this and that. It's reality TV. That's the category. Yeah. And I was asked to come represent myself in a reality competition. Right. So that's so you would that's think that's what they that's how I took it, yeah. man. That's how I took it. And now I'm learning to have fun with that aspect of it. Gotcha. Right. But I I had to take my lumps. I, I went through it, bro. I kind of go through the fire, and it fucked me up, dude. Did it? It fucked me up bad. Yeah. So was it was it what you were expecting out of it from what you you I, know as a watching it on TV to being there and living it? Dude, I still can't fucking believe I experienced it. Right. I, I don't I don't talk about it. Um, I get I get asked about it when I travel or when I'm not in the space of like my everyday people, my right. family, my colleagues. And, and maybe I've been running from something, bro. You know what I mean? But I, I don't I don't think about it. I do know that it's it, it's only an introduction. Oh, for sure. It, it, I, I, I know that. Okay. You know what I mean? So a lot of people ask me about my like my reaction and why I look so stoic on stage and this and that. But they <clears throat> there's there's just there's a reason for that. And I'm I'm processing how I process it. But Ink Master for me, like it was it was hard. Got you. you know, and it got really, really personal. All right, so this next one I'm excited for because I've never tried it either. Maybe you're gonna okay. be trying this one together oh, for the first time. Okay. So, and this bad boy sitting at nine percent. Toast and bananas. Yes. Roses by the stairs. Yep, they're up in Phoenix, Arizona. Hmm. <laughs> Smells familiar. It, yeah, it really does. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Flashbacks too. All right, cheers. Cheers, brother. I feel like it's very boozy. Like, Damn, good description. Yeah, very boozy. You know, it's interesting. I like so many, so many, so many different flavors once it hits your tongue. So as it's like hitting your nose and then it hits your tongue, it's just like. I feel like it's trying to process what it's just smell and see if what's in there. And then you're, then you're reading what's, what, what it, what it reads. We need a. So you're thinking, you're mentally thinking cool oh. bananas and toast or something toasted bananas or whatever the case may be you're okay. thinking bananas right okay and yeah. then you smell it uh, bananas on the back half a little bit and i think the taste buds are trying to catch up with everything that was already processed <laughs> i don't know yeah, that's just I, my, yeah that's just my mentality I, I, I mean or like they just took breakfast and they just <laughs> <laughs> when did you figure out like hey portrait tattooing is going to maybe be a specialty I can say like portraiture has has always been my shit. okay has always been my shit, um, but I would say right, right before Ink Master was when I was just like, this is this is my favorite thing to do. So growing up drawing, I, I drew faces. Okay. I would draw what I what I would see. So I would draw from real life, and then as I you know got through grade school, getting into high school, we started taking our our gen ed classes. And so it's mandatory you're taking art. So now you're starting to learn like foundational shit. And I'm sitting there, bro, like, 
I'm just like, I'm like getting in trouble because I like, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> but I'm spitting out this result. So they're just like, dude, you're, you're full of shit. You're cheating, you're copying, you're this, you're that. <laughs> But it's just like, no, the movie Drumline, right? Like, right, I can yeah. play this shit. I just, I can't read that music, but like, listen to what I can do with it. You know right. what I mean? Um, <clears throat> so then I, I'm, I'm learning and understanding that I, I've already like acquired these skill sets, but now w what I'm experiencing, like through these classes and as, as I'm maturing, is like I'm sharpening the tools that I've, I've already had. And so one of my first tattoos was a portrait. Oh wow. And I would absolutely, absolutely never advise somebody to permanently make those marks on somebody's skin unless that is what you can naturally draw. Right, that's a lot of pressure there, dude. Like, yeah. You can experience, like, you can experience a person through a photo. At least I can. I've always been, I've always been able to since I was younger. Okay. That's like a gift in a sense. And it's all of me coming. Yeah, dude, I used, to, I used to get fucked up about it. Really? I used to like say shit and it would happen and fucking, I get made fun of, fucking, right? Called the F word. Like, you don't want to say it now, but fucking gay. Like right. All, like everything, right? Fuck in my hair. Like I've I've had my friends, even my videographer, like pushing me, man, just be you. Yeah. Cause I get I get my hair ripped out and cut, like oh. being made fun. Like, right? So it's just like But man, th but this but th this is what I'm supposed to do. You know what I mean? So I can when I connect with people, that's that's what happens. And it, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot for me. And my reasoning for tattooing, it's a lot. And so a lot of that shit just got mixed up in the show, right? And having to please now this demographic, which is now the rest of the world that I didn't have access to. Right. And so now they had this expectation of perfection. No, no, what? Whoa, what the fuck? No, yeah. no, no, <laughs> no. Yes, I wish I would have listened and I understood this concept when I was younger, but no, I am far from fucking perfect. Right. And no, I don't want to be perfect because then there's nowhere else to go if you're perfect. Right. There's, there's not. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? If you feel like you, whatever you're doing, if you stop learning or you think you're, you know, you're on top of it, I mean, you're not, you know, in, in, in reality. And I think it comes down to ego stuff too. 100%. <laughs> Big time. Me yeah. and that motherfucker are duking it out right now. We've been for the past two years, bro. Yeah been for the past two years and i just i do my best to put a smile on and make sure the doors are open it's a hard fight dude two fucking years dude yeah. it's exhausting but like i i have to keep doing it because like some something is evolving you know what i mean yeah just, no for sure fucking hard turbulence <laughs> <laughs> dark sky brewing i, I love the uh I love the artwork on here. Yeah. You're going to get coffee on the nose. For sure. Coffee's the theme of the night. Yeah. God's trying to tell me something. <laughs> That's interesting. The, the, <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, so I didn't think they were gonna get any teammates. Yeah. But all these guys <laughs> have something in common. But these guys are definitely like leading the pack. This is this this is like a nice Yeah, it's it's not definitely not like the last two. Um there's a, there's a, no. Yeah, definitely yeah. not. You could enjoy this. I could, I could, yeah, I could drink that. Definitely easy drinking. Which is surprising. I, I, I maybe that's just been my experience with dark beers, is that yeah. they're not always it. Especially today. It's kind of like, we went from one to like, uh, to like, not expecting much, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs>
You know what's interesting? Out of my my main connection, I don't I don't know if this is just me and like a balance thing. Yeah. I don't know if this was like a design thing, right? And then there's something here, but I was drawn. I was drawn to this all since I since I walked over to the table. I don't know if it's the artwork, it's a familiarity, it's a very iconic image. Yeah. Fucking awesome. <laughs> uh. But I was drawn I was drawn to it. For that person watching right now who might be drawing, creating, out there thinking, hey, you know, I think tattooing is something I want to pursue and I want to get into. What advice would you offer to someone pursuing that same journey? If somebody was watching and they were in my position and they were just starting out. I would say commitment and execution. To, to do this as just a lifestyle. I mean, is that I, I guess that's, you know, that's someone's perspective. We're, we, we're all, we have the ability to do as we may. Right. Right. <clears throat> but I'm, I'm walking through and living each and every single day while I'm physically altered, performing surgeries, theoretically, right? Yeah. Sure. Like I'm, I'm, man, I'm exchanging energy like with people, you know, and it's, <clears throat> and it's, it's, it's hard, you know? Um, and so committing to something like this, like there's a lot of things that happen that people don't realize <laughs> that are going to be really, really hard to, to control if you're not, if, if you're not keeping in mind of, of, of your purpose. Right. And I, and I'm expressing this because I know better and I also experience what it's like to not meet people's expectations. Right. But to do that, not from a loving place, but to do it from a resentful space, you know? Gotcha. And so when you, when you commit to something, You, you, you are it, now it's obtaining like your, our focus and our purpose. And that means family is going to get forgotten. That means friends are going to get forgotten. It means parts of you are, are going to get forgotten. If you're, if you're doing this with good intentions, like everything's going to be okay. Cause you're right. Tattooing has become a fad. It's absolutely become a fad. And we forgot that people were representing themselves because they didn't know how to speak. Right. By marking their body. And they're now pulling you to their to their home in a cave where they were painting it on a wall. Right. And this is how they communicate it. Right. And now it's, you know, sure, forms of communication, right? We're expressing ourselves, our emotions, our stories we've been through. I love this style of art because it speaks to me, but I want to wear it on my body for like Bro, that's fine. Yeah, that's it's fine. But there's there's a magic. <laughs> yeah. You are physically altering somebody's appearance for the rest of your life. There's a magic involved because you now have to sit here. Fuck the money. I'm expensive. Fuck the money. Right. I also work with people and people don't know that I've I've I I do free tattoo people, whatever. Right. right? Yeah. But what you're going to endure for me to like tell your story and, and help me like you can't just fucking do that because you want to make money and because because you want to like travel the world and be able to no. <laughs> right. No. Uh, I get I hear you. Loud and clear. Like, no, like, no, no, no. You're pouring yourself into somebody else. for days for one tattoo for days 
like so the, my 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 only advice is just if if you want to tattoo like it's you you have you you desire and you are here to help people cheers to that man cheers to that Hi, right, man. Anthony, dude. I mean, let everybody know, you know, where they can find you, social medias, locally. Dude, it, it's, I mean, it's simple. Like, right now things aren't, I'm, I'm just being authentic. Things yeah. aren't crazy structured. I'm restructuring, right. um, repurposing, rebranding, re redirecting, like evolving, right? So. Right. Uh, simply antmikes booking at gmail.com a n t m i k e s booking at gmail.com or instagram uh, handle is antmikes a n t m i k e s dude i appreciate you coming by yeah i've never had an experience like this um and so knowing that like i haven't had beer in years and i felt safe enough to do this and to be as vulnerable tonight like Fucking rad, dude. Thank cool. you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, brother. All right, guys. Till next time.